Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> Looking at a job sheet here, and customer's got some inch and a half tubes, a lot of inch and a half tubes, quarter inch wall, gonna be a lot of fittings, elbows, a lot of butt joints, some socket welds, and I wanna get loosened up here on some TIG work, full pin on a, on a butt weld. We've got an Everlast 250EX, be running some DC TIG, pure argon, 332nd tungsten, 332nd filler wire. Uh, I've got this opened up right about uh, just beyond 332. My wire will fit inside this groove slightly. And I want to I want to do some uh, roots and so as far as I can tell from the job sheet everything is full TIG so we're going to do a root, a couple of fill passes and then put a cap in here. I've got this sitting up in a positioner mainly for height and for the fact that if I go do some buffing on it here in between passes, but I really don't want to use the, I don't want to use the positioner for a rotator, you know. Later on, maybe on the cap, if I see some benefits of running, sitting down and just walking in the same position, I might use it, but right now for this demo, I just want to do it this way, just to see what's going to happen, see if we can get some good time on it. Let me grab my safety gear, I'll be right back. I'm running a number six stubby gas lens cup here. E3 tungsten. Handy little flex neck on this torch, comes in handy. I think I'm just going to freehand this in here. Got a little hot finger there going on. Look like almost look like a Davy Blackburn weld. Now's the time I grab me a heat shield, a heat pad here. Thank you, Torchware. You good guy, man. I'm telling you. to get this filled up here to about flush. Camera guy over here making me nervous because that's what he does. All right, I'm gonna let that cool off for a little bit. 
come back and put a cap on it. I've been, I have my machine set at 125 amps. I don't think I'm using all of that. I'm varying a little bit, close to it. Probably between 100 and 115, 120. So I'm gonna let this cool off just a little bit and we'll come back and more than likely I will leave it like this and probably start out on bottom until I come up, I'll dab this bottom in or freehand the bottom in until I get up where I'm comfortable, where I can rest this and see it and everything and go on up. I have a number six cup on here right now. I may change to a number eight. So be back in a little bit. Oh, why? I did a little dash and dab on bottom when I was coming off the bottom. I might be slightly low, and then when I got up here and I was comfortable, I walked the cup. So for height, and I could probably go a little different on this, do a uh, 332 root, a light 332 fill so I don't remelt my root pass, possibly run an eighth inch fill and bring it up to flush go back to a 332 or even a 116th for a cap. So uh, positioner will work out nicely if I'm doing buffing and stuff. But odd thing is, and I've done this before, even though it's got a rheostat in it, you're operating two foot pedals. Sometimes you can get in here and get the timing right and just walk like crazy and go with it. <clears throat> but it's a handy little piece. So a little practice here. I need to get loosened up on small bore pipe. I haven't done a tremendous amount of it. A lot of the stuff I did on boilers years ago was socket welds on some heavy stuff. Didn't do a whole lot of these. Wouldn't take me long to get back to it though, I don't think. So I hope this helps. If you have questions about anything, small bore pipe, it, it's, you know, this has got substantial wall thickness. We probably need to find some super thin stuff and maybe play with it. Uh, in any event, if you have questions, let us know if we can help with anything. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching well.com.